Hey there everybody, Nathan Elson here. Welcome back to the channel. Now this is the first video of 2023. I'm gonna show you how I use one light and one reflector to create an image that looks exactly like this and another one that looks exactly like this. And with that being said, let's just get into it. All right, so here we are in the studio and I'm using one 8600 Pro with the 47 inch Rapid Snap Octobox from Stro Pro. Now these are a brand new modifier that Stro Pro came out with. If you guys are interested in these modifiers, you wanna know more of what I think about them, how I use them, how they operate, let me know down in the comments below. If there's enough interest, I'll make a video and explain the entire modifier in all of its glory. Now this light is mounted on a C-stand with a boom arm and is placed so that the model's positioned towards the back of the modifier. Now viewers of this channel will know that I love to feather light. I love to take my subjects and place them towards the back half of the modifier so that that light transitions beautifully from the highlights to the shadows and just gives you a really gorgeous transition of light. And when you're using just one light, this is a, a just amazing way to get the most out of your modifiers. Now to the model's left, I have a Stro Pro V-flat with the white side facing in towards the model just to create a little bit of bounce of light back in towards her, just eliminate a little bit of that contrast. Now these reflectors are amazing. I did an entire video on just these reflectors. They're brand new from Stro Pro. If you haven't seen that yet, I will link that at the end of this video if you're interested in checking those out. The backdrop is a nine foot white seamless backdrop from Savage Backdrops, which is going to fall off to a light gray because I've got the model about five feet away from that backdrop and I'm not lighting the backdrop independently. I'm just using my key light and that light is falling off before it actually reaches the backdrop, causing the white to fall to a light gray. Now this is one of my favorite ways to shoot these one light portraits that I know I'm going to turn into black and white. It just gives me a really gorgeous tonal range in that backdrop with that light gray that you can control based on how close the model is to it. It'll get brighter. If you move her further away, it'll get darker. And it's just an amazing way to really simply create a lot of tonal range in your images. So just the white backdrop falling off to a light gray, one of my all time favorite ways to shoot these types of portraits. Now my key light is metered to f8 at 1 200th of a second at ISO 100, which means that my camera will also need to be set at f8 at 1 200th of a second at ISO 100 to maintain proper exposure. I'm shooting on the Nikon Z6 II with the Nikon 85mm f1.8 lens attached, and I'm tethered into Capture One Pro using my custom Capture One styles on import to view the images as they come into the capture folder. So with that, this is what the final images look like. Now for this second set of images, all we did was swap out the nine foot white seamless for one of my custom painted backdrops. Now these backdrops are absolutely beautiful. They're from a company called Unique Backdrops. This isn't sponsored, I just, I love these backdrops so much. If you're looking for a custom canvas painted backdrop, I highly recommend giving them a look. I will link them down below. And then from there, we also added a leather jacket just to pick up a few pops of light, the different reflections that come off the black leather. And then of course, we shot these images in color instead of black and white. Aside from that, nothing else changed. The lighting is still in the exact same position. My reflector is still in the exact same position. And I'm still shooting at F8 at 1 200th of a second at ISO 100. And with that being said, this is what these final images ended up looking like. So there you guys go. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.